Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. As I promised, here we are at the airfield to do some range tests. I test, I still have my running shorts on from this morning's run. And but we're gonna get this thing started. I got three systems we're gonna be testing. First, we're starting with the Bolella system. I got it all hooked up. This runway is about 475 feet. As I get down over here to my right, as I face the camera, there's a shed. I will walk behind it to test the penetration behind the shed to see what happens there. But as I go down the runway here, I will just kind of keep talking. I keep calling out where I am as far as how many feet I am away from the receiver. So guys, here we go. We'll get started. 25 feet. That was 25 feet. Now we're coming up on, we're at 50 feet. We're coming up on, that was 50. We're at 75 feet now. That was passing 75 feet. Now we're at 100 feet. Now we passed the 100 foot mark, 125 feet. We just passed the 125 foot mark, 150 feet. We just passed the 150 feet mark, 175 feet. We just passed the 175 feet mark, 200 feet. We just passed the 200 feet mark, 225 feet. We just passed the 225 foot mark, 250 feet. We just passed the 250 feet mark. You can see my wave my hand. I we're at the 275 foot mark. We're at 300 feet. I don't know if you can still hear me. I'm going to walk at the 300 foot mark. I'm going to walk over here and go behind this shed and see what happens here. As I walk over here, I'm hoping you can still hear me. My, the transmitter is on my back. So as I was walking away from the camera, keep in mind the transmitter is actually facing the receiver. I am now behind the shed, behind five feet man i hope that went well guys got that one done we'll switch out the system into a new one and see what happens okay guys we'll reset up i got the traver system on ready to do the check again the traver and the uh previous system that i just did both of these are uhf systems um Keep that in mind. The last system that I'm testing would be actually a 2.4 gigahertz, but the Traver and the uh, Bolella, there we go, are both UHF systems. So let's see how this one turns out. We're walking out and we're at 25 feet. That was 25 feet. We're going on. We're at 50 feet. That was 50 feet. We're moving on, we're at 75 feet now. We just passed 75 feet. We're at 100 feet. We just passed 100 feet. Moving on, we're 125 feet. That was 125 feet. Now we're at 150 feet. We just passed 150 feet. We're moving on 175 feet. That was 175 feet. So now we're at 200 feet. That was 200 feet. We're now at 225 feet. That was 225 feet. This is 250 feet. 
that was 250 feet. Now we're at 275 feet. That was 275 feet. This is 300 feet. This is where. We're coming and going on behind the shed. Just came up from behind the middle shed, walking on back to a 300 foot mark. A 300 foot mark. It will go. I'm going back across the runway here. Now, moving on from 300 feet to 325 feet, that was 325. This is 350 feet, that was 50 feet. This is 375 feet. Right here. Feet. This is 100. That was 100 feet. Moving on down. Now we're at 75 feet. That was 75 feet. This is 50 feet. And moving on. And we're almost. And here we are at 25 feet with the receiver behind me. And there we go with the Trevor system switching out again. We're going to try another one, guys. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. We got the Foultree 2.4 gigahertz system. Let me say this. This system does not like working with my 12-year-old camcorder. It works perfectly on my D500, so don't let all of this noise and signal noise that you're getting deter you from this system is it is really quiet but i think maybe my camcorder is analog or something and the system is digital and they just don't mesh but again my camcorder is 12 years old but the purpose 12 years old but the purpose of this is that we're really trying to look at uh, transmission distance and again this is a 2.4 gigahertz system so the range probably isn't going to be anywhere near what we're getting out of the UHF systems. But we'll see what happens. Since this is the mic and the transmitter, I'm going to try to walk backwards um, on this. I'm, I'm going to walk backwards. Well, I'm going to get to a point, then I'm going to turn around. So we're, we're going to probably lose reception uh, since I, it's, it's all one system. There's no uh, separate receiver and mic. So, walking out first, and here we go, guys. Walking. Okay. 25 foot mark, that's 25 feet. Disconnected, connected. Feet, moving on out. Disconnected, connected. Five feet. Disconnected. 
Connected. Now, 100 feet. Disconnected. Connected. Now we're at 125 feet. Here we go. Disconnected. Connected. And 50 feet now. Moving. Disconnected. Connected. 75 feet right now. Go Disconnected. Connected. Mark. This is 200 feet. Disconnected. Connected. And 25 feet right now. Disconnected. Connected. This is the 250 foot mark. Disconnected. Connected. Oh, we're at 275 feet. Disconnected. Connected. 300 foot mark. There we go. Shed. Going over shed real quick. Walking over the shed. On a site, okay, popping disconnected, connected site. We're back out to the runway, disconnected, connected, disconnected, connected. Three. Disconnected. Connected. Disconnected. Connected. 325 feet. Disconnected. Connected. 350 foot mark. Disconnected. Connected. See, we're now 375 Disconnected. Connected. This is our 400 foot. Disconnected. Connected. And 25 feet. Disconnected. Connected. And 50 feet. Disconnected. Connected. We're coming back. We're right now at 450 feet. Was a 450 foot mark. We're at 425 feet. That was our 425 foot mark. This is 400 feet. We're at, uh, that was the 400 foot mark. We're at 375 feet. That was our 375 foot mark. That's 350 feet. That was our 350 foot mark. This is our 325 feet. That was our 325 foot mark. We're at our 300 foot mark. That's the 300 foot mark. We're coming up, we're at 275. That was our 275 foot mark. We're at 250 feet. That was our 250 foot mark. This is our 225 feet. That was our 225 foot mark. This is our 200 feet. This is our, that was our 250 foot mark. This is 225 feet. That was our 225 foot mark. This is our 200 feet. That was our 200 foot mark. This is our 107 to our 125 foot mark. That was 125. This is our 100 foot mark. That was 100 feet. Moving on to our 75 foot mark. That was 75 feet. Moving on to our 50 foot mark. That was 75 feet. And back to our 25 foot mark. Cool, I had to do that one couple times. All right guys, 
there's the test of all three of the wireless mic systems that I currently possess. Hope you, that was a help to you. Please keep in mind this 2.4 gigahertz system does not work well with this camcorder. Um, so I don't want you to take the noise and that digital noise that you hear and let that turn you off. Uh, this works great again with my Nikon D500. Again, I'm not selling you anything. I just want you to know the truth of the issue, but I, I needed to use this camcorder to do this test. So I hope that helps somebody out. If you like my content, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Y'all have a blessed day. All right, guys, all the tests have been done. I felt I needed to do this little snippet at the end of the video. Um, to kind of just kind of dig into these three things, in my opinion, this is the is what I kind of noticed what happened. Notice the first system that we tested that I tested was this Balela system here. This is one that I purchased myself uh, to do my videography with. This is the so you can see the model number there at the bottom. Uh, this is heavier than. As a weight wise of the three systems, this one only came with the transmitter and the receiver, even though it shows two, two transmitters on the box. But uh, about 50 bucks. Uh, started off with this one, performed wor very well. I think out of this one in the other UHF system, which was the uh, Trevor system, this one has a little bit less noise signal noise uh, uh, in the transmission. Uh, it did well going out. Uh, once I turned and went behind the shed, it lost communication. You probably noticed, you noticed that in the video. And then I continued on out past the 300 foot mark. And on the way back, it did not pick up until I got to 25 feet. Um, a little odd there. Uh, so, I think one thing is, maybe if I had it kept straight out and came back, it would not have, maybe that would not have happened. I'm not going to go back out and test that, but maybe that would not have happened. But uh, that's kind of what I feel about this. And let me say this before I go on. I was surprised at the 2.4 gigahertz system in the distance. The difference between that I noticed in the UHF system and the 2.4 gigahertz system is that penetration, you have more penetration. You'll notice that in the videos. There's more penetration with the UHF. The next system that was tested was this one, which was the Trevor uh, YM2 is what's on here. And I actually seen this under a different branded name, I believe, on um, on uh, Amazon. Did very well. I mean, wow. A little bit more uh, signal noise, but uh, I think it performed well. It went all the way out to 300 feet. When I turned to go behind the shed, it still had a little bit more reception going on. Even behind the shed, as I came out, it kept trying to work it out. Uh, got to the 300 foot mark once I got back and I went on out. Uh, you saw how it performed there. And then it was quicker to reconnect as I was coming back. Uh, uh, with the, of course, the transmitters behind me. So, man, connectivity, it performed well. It reconnected. Unlike the Bolero system, wait until I got to 25 feet, right back to almost, you know, to the receiver. This one was connecting way out and, and was uh, performing well. And the last system that I tested was the Foultry system here, which is the WM101. The 2.4 gigahertz system, man, um, I was surprised. I'm, I'm be honest, I was surprised. Again, the thing that was different here that I did not expect is yes, 2.4 gigahertz gives you a lot of range. I did not know this little voice would keep kicking up, uh, uh, saying connected, disconnected. So if you're recording 
and you have a headphone hooked into your uh, your your camera or your camcorder or whatever you're using, you wouldn't get a voice recognition that it's connected or not. <laughs> only through that. Remember, there's only it's a small, very portable unit. Um, but like I said, once I got out even to 400, 475 feet, it was still making a connection. But you notice each time I turned around on the way out it would disconnect and reconnect so you don't get the penetration with this but as long as you can keep it line of sight this is this is pretty cool this is pretty cool as long as you can keep it line of sight and the other thing I kept talking about the signal digital noise I can hear the signal digital noise when I plug up my headset to my camcorder but actually it wasn't coming through in the recording which I was surprised because I thought it was going to record all of that digital funny signal noise. It only had the, uh, the, the, the ground noise, the floor noise as in the other two transmitters would have a noise in it. So man, performed very well. There wasn't that digital signal noise that I hear in the headset when I connect everything up together and so it did not come through in the recording but that's my final on this again I hope this helps somebody hope you guys enjoyed that uh, please like and subscribe and y'all have a blessed day